Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, all you fantastic Gungans and droids out there to today's video where the definitive greatest free to play account of all time has hit the next big milestone where we unlocked Jedi Master Luke Skywalker. But I'm not going to upgrade him. That's right, we have some funny little updates for those of you that care about the free-to-play account that I want to share with you guys. A lot of big plays happening on this account, and I also want to kind of give you guys a couple of updates on the greatest farming guide. At least that's what Gary tells me. Uh, I don't know. And the death of the current greatest free-to-play account of all time. Let's get to it. So it's been nearly exactly three months since we unlocked Jabba the Hutt and it led me straight into Jedi Master Luke Skywalker. I unlocked uh, Master Luke just this past weekend. So yeah, literally almost on the nose, three months since the last time we got our last big update for this account. And as we're gonna be talking about with the small updates to the greatest free to play guide of all time, really the game is at this point, just focusing, trying to get into the, the whole Leia, Jabba, Master Luke triangle angle and then once you make your first step into that triangle like you get big plays that just start falling in at your feet where one thing one big thing leads to another big thing very soon where once i got into the triangle using jabba as my entryway master luke just fell into place extremely quickly however there's one problem and that problem is i'm about to unlock a i would say deadlier force very very soon which is why we're gonna be leaving master luke at a low gear for a couple weeks here which is a very weird scenario usually when you get a galactic legend you sprint to get them upgraded however let's be honest there's a bigger galactic legend in the game and that is darth bane yes the free-to-play account is about to unlock darth bane this conquest cycle which is great getting bane just one month after the first unlock of bane is a massive deal and here's the thing unlocking bane in about a week and a half here i'd rather use all the chirotex that are needed to hundreds and hundreds of Chirotex to upgrade Bane rather than Jedi Master Luke. I mean, they both require a lot of Chirotex, so I want to have just as much stuff hoarded up, so when I get Bane, I can try to get him to gear 13 immediately because he's just the better Bane per buck character. With Master Luke, after I upgrade him, I kind of need to perfect the other Jedi members on the team, which I'm still going to do, don't get me wrong, but it's gonna wait till after Bane gets his loving. So, like, of course, I could use Master Luke with Jedi Luke, Obi-Wan, you know, Anakin, Hermit, Yoda, Kyle, Katarn, something like that but realistically you want to get grandmaster yoda up as well as jedi knight revan up and running and that requires both relic materials and chirotex for them as well so besides master luke chirotex i need another 200 just for yoda and revan just to kind of get the ideal jedi team but the fact of the matter is my friends as a lot of you have witnessed or experienced yourself bane is one of the best bang per buck teams in the game period he just needs one other random sith with him doesn't have to be a good Sith, just someone to die off so likely i might use you know Dooku or Sidious with him and Darth Bane with just those two individuals him and someone else can beat pretty much every single galactic ledge with maybe the hardest one being Master Kenobi you just gotta hope he doesn't get insta killed by Commander Tano so I'd be a fool if I was gonna upgrade Jedi Master Luke Skywalker instead of holding on for Bane so needless to say it's a good problem to have it's just one that I wasn't expecting to have where you know with only so many card attacks to go around you gotta make priorities and Bane is just a far better character far better bang per buck so unfortunately, Master Luke is going to have to wait ooh, probably until end of April, early May to finally get some attention. So but not to say I can't use him. He's still a fast character, even at low gear. So likely I'll use him a Jedi Knight Luke lead so I can try to get the whole combo going ASAP. So again, not like he's going to be useless, unused. We definitely have ways we can utilize him in the meantime, just not in his normal capacity. I want to talk about what are the next steps that we're going to be pursuing. So again, last year's guide pretty much still relevant we just got to add a few things and kind of talk about the triangle a bit more and we'll talk about that in a moment but what i want to do now that we're kind of in this triangle we have a couple of ways that go about the next big thing we want to unlock so here's the game plan that i have for this roster so there's really two big routes that i can take and i already know which one i'm going for but i'll explain it so now that we're in the triangle with very comfortably jabba and jedi master luke the third point of that triangle is going to be leia where leia's in the, she's not too far off but with single 
drops right now it's something i'm not incentivized to do at the moment but we will be doing it soon later on this year but as you can see really the main gate is going to be primarily you know getting the characters that were required for leia captain rex scout trooper drogan as well as nisa but as you can see just by doing the jabba jedi master luke stuff you take care of a lot of the more difficult parts of the process but you know still one two three four five six seven eight characters we have to relic up however the other route that we have afforded to us is getting the profundity and uh, spoiler alert, that's what i'm gonna be going for here the great thing is when you're going for you know the executor jedi master luke jabba you take care of a lot of the more difficult parts of the grind which is primarily getting your outrider up and running you know your rebel y-wing all the other stuff that's pretty much the more difficult part the other stuff isn't all that bad let's go take a look at it so ships we have completely taken care of really it's just the characters got to bump up a few relics and really there's not much in the way of farming yeah casting and are very easy to farm as shards Jin Urs is in the guild store so that's an inc incredibly fast grind right there she's almost at seven stars so really the shard grind isn't bad Radis, but that's fine only one character need to farm up the seven stars and that gives me time to work on the other guys around here so a lot easier to get than Leia at the current point in the economy that we're at and for me and this account because of where I'm sitting right now in Grand Arena we are pushing boundaries my friend we have been maintaining uh, residency in Kyber for a couple of months now at five points I think we entered uh, Kyber somewhere five point somewhere in the five million before this before this Master Luke unlock and Bane stuff. So and really just the biggest thing just to make sure I maintain residency, which we've been kind of we've been chilling in Kyber three. We did make it to Kyber two for a brief stint before some 10, 11, 12 million accounts started, you know, flopping on me here. The biggest thing, as always, is more ships is better because a lot of people do not have mastery of ships, and especially where I need to do this uphill climb, or my opponents have much bigger gp and they're just one shotting everything crazy high banners my ships can get hold such as the executor so having profundity on deck is going to be another amazing tool for us and the thing about ships the meta moves so much more slowly than character metas it just maintains relevancy for a lot longer so i'm hoping with the uh, my introduction of master luke getting bane soon and profundity that alone may help me kind of get into that next push into kyber 2 so i expect the profundity uh, assuming i start you know starting today and actually let's say starting after we get bane and we put all the relics into him and the chirotex i'm hoping by summertime so june july maybe we will have the profundity unlock but and that's perfect timing because that means that's when the uh, jedi, jedi master leia galactic legend leia organa her stuff is going to start becoming double drop farmable which is going to be a perfect time to start working on her and then hopefully by the end of the year we will have galactic legend Leia in our roster. Kind of a lot of big plays happening around here. And I guess some other minor things that really point out here. Just recently, I unlocked the Malevolence, which is kind of a great bank per buck fleet because you just need these piloty ships to kind of do all the work for you. So it's going to be nice, but having Profundity on top of this will be pretty sweet. It kind of give me a little bit more oomph. My TIE Defender, as well as the TIE Intercept, they have been doing wonders for my Chimera. Finalizer, getting work done against those Executors. We have the Home 1 built up, but we're not going to overbuild it because we're going to be going into profundity soon but still nonetheless having a solid rebel fleet's been very helpful and yeah that's just kind of where we're sitting right now a lot of big strides so far this year from the kyber master luke the bane not being too off the mark for getting profundity and then hopefully lay it later on this year and the account as well we've been getting consistent gold crates again without needing to spend any money or do anything crazy in conquest so we're on track for bane getting these ca conquest characters just one month after the first generation of unlockers not bad same thing of queen abadal i have no plans of getting her but the more shards i can get now the less than i gotta spend in purgatory later on improving grounds and so that leads into the boogeyman in the room the future of this account so the whole spirit of this free-to-play account has been the show especially at the beginning stages where i didn't put myself in a good guild just threw myself in a starter guild showing you how long it takes to get supreme leader kylo ran without the help of money or without the help of being in a good guild but the problem is now this account especially now that we're eking into kyber 2 territory in five million whatever gp and we have four gls well you know technically only three but four gls technically even though master luke is behind the curve and we're gonna have two gl level ships soon and we're gonna have kind of a quasi gl that being darth bane i feel like the relevancy of this account that started in 2021 is gonna start losing its relatability to the newer generation of players come towards the end of the year so once we get Leia, we're gonna double check and see what we're feeling with this account come next year this account's gonna be four years old which is pretty crazy but again, there comes a point where this account
account, especially if you're going to be in Kyber and then you're going to have all these great GLs and great GL ships. It's, I don't know if it's going to be as relatable to the new folks coming to the game. So we'll wait and see what the end of the year brings. And that brings us to another FAQ I've been getting about updating the greatest free to play guide of all time. So as always, I'm glad you guys enjoy the, the guide series that we do. We put a lot of thought, effort and time, especially condensing so much information, but keeping it simple at the same time, because sometimes it's way too easy to get overcomplicated and it can turn off a lot of new folks. The guide isn't even a year old yet, and I've been <laughs> getting a lot of questions. What are we updating it? What are we updating it? And generally, I only up this, update this once a year, but because we do this, we've been doing this mid-year since last year, we kind of waited to see what the raid was going to do to impact the game. People's feng shui is getting messed up because this is this was a mid-year update. So moving forward, I'll, I want to tell you guys this. Moving forward, we'll uh, go back to making the updated farming guy at the beginning of the year. So people's feng shui is brought back to order and balance, but we're still going to update this very soon. Pretty much the focus on raids should not be a thing. Now that we saw how raid, the new raid formulas for Galaxy of Heroes, we don't want to put too much emphasis on focusing on the raid because especially if you're coming to the game brand new, by the time you get the stuff up and running, the raid might be irrelevant. So we just want to focus purely on the PVP. Good PVP stuff leads into doing well in the PVE stuff as a trickle down effect. So basically all we got to do is we just got to add layer to this, of course, and then we're going to kind of talk about that triangle and just pick it a direction you want to get into that swoga triangle and that's pretty much it so this guide is still 85 percent relevant after we finish the bane fan film music video whatever you want to call it all tends to be put into this and the good news is there shouldn't be too much we have to change to get this up and running for your one year update and that's gonna wrap it up for today ladies and gentlemen all you fantastic gungans and droids hopefully you guys still enjoy the free to play series if i get you know if you've been around the block for a while in galaxy you know free to play stuff might not be something that's tickling your funny bone but i hope for those that do enjoy the free to play series seeing the progress you've made killing it in kyber as well as we can with five and a half million gp and making these big plays and showing you the free to play in action from one big play rolling into the next i've been having a blast with it i love this account so much it gives me another perspective to enjoy Galaxy Heroes from. It's always cool wailing on the new stuff, but sometimes it's fun to experience it from a different lens as well. So I have a true, truly deep connection and passion for this account. And, uh, you know, it's weird to, to put it to rest, but uh, we'll, 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 we'll see come the end of the year what we want to do. But until then, thank you so much for stopping by. Leave that like, comment down below, subscribe so you're not missing a thing. And always remember, it's great to be in the Empire today. The sun never sets. We die.